This is your Tech News Briefing for Tuesday, December 6th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Over the past few days, you might have noticed your social media blowing up with people posting lists of the music they've listened to most this year. That's right, it's Spotify wrapped season. That time at the end of the year when the audio streaming platform playfully shares with users some of the information it's gathered on them. But why is it that we find this information gathering so fun and other data collection so intrusive? With me now to talk about that is our personal tech columnist, Nicole Nguyen. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for being here. Hi, Zoe. So for people who aren't familiar with Spotify Wrapped, can you just briefly describe for us what it is? Spotify Wrapped is a year-end analysis that the company provides to its users, and it tells you things like how many minutes you streamed, your top artists, and it becomes something of a social media event because it's kind of like a personality quiz, but for your musical year. So what did you learn about yourself from these stats this year? Spotify told me that I spent exactly 12,035 minutes streaming this year, just over 200 hours. Um, And for the first time, Spotify is also assigning musical personalities. So I learned that my musical mood shifts from intense, uplifting, soothing in the morning to acceptance, escapism, cathartic in the afternoon. And then I'm also an early adopter or someone who is, quote, always seeking the next hot thing, which sounds about right. You know, often data collection has this bad reputation. So why does Spotify advertise to its users at the end of the year that it is collecting this data on them? I think it's a really smart move by Spotify. For them, it's a marketing campaign to get people talking about Spotify and sharing their stats on social media. But for me, it's a reminder of how much data these companies are collecting about behavior, our activity, and the potentially interesting insights they have about us that we aren't even aware of ourselves. You know, like, for example, Peloton probably knows which day you're the laziest, or Netflix knows which kinds of thumbnails you're most likely to click on. And the user researchers and data scientists at these companies are probably running these insights, but they're not sharing those with their users, even though they're collecting this kind of data all the time. And Spotify Wrapped is unique in that they are not only collecting, you know, data collection is typically a one-way exchange between the user and the company, they're also giving some of that data back to its users. Is Spotify the only company then that's doing that reversal, that's giving it back? Apple Music and YouTube Music also have their own version of this, although it's not as comprehensive as Spotify's, and Strava also has a your year in sport for the athletes that are signed up for that platform. What if you don't want to be a part of this? I mean, is there a way to opt out if you don't want Spotify or your music provider collecting your listening information? If you sign up for Spotify, then you agree to its terms and Spotify will collect this listening history regardless. But you can prevent it from showing up in things like Wrapped or in personalized playlists like Discover Weekly or Daily Mix by turning on a private listening session. So if you have a kid, you know, who loves listening to Baby Shark over and over again, you can prevent that from showing up in your top tracks on Wrapped. Okay, so for all the parents on social media complaining that their Wrapped was ruined by their children, there is a way out. You mentioned that you agree to Spotify's terms of service when you sign up for it. I imagine they're not just collecting your listening information, right? Yeah, they're also collecting data like your location, which they can infer from your IP address, which is pretty common for services. And that's for the purposes of providing you more personalized playlists based on where you are, or also for advertising, which is relevant to the free tier of Spotify. You know, big picture, you wrote this column saying that this is one of the few occasions where you don't mind that your data was gathered. I mean, why not? I love seeing my wrapped every year because it tells me something about my own behavior that I didn't already know. And I think that's one of the beautiful potentials of technology. You know, we usually think of data collection as neutral to evil, which, you know, sometimes it it is when our data is shared without our consent or more of it is collected than we had hoped. But Spotify wrapped is kind of a data collection bright spot. It's an example of joyful data collection. I love seeing what band I loved most this year, because it says something, I think, about where I was at musically and emotionally. 
for the past 365 days. So do you think other companies that are collecting our data should be sharing more of it with us? I think so. Our data is so often monetized or used to improve these products. And if these companies want their consumers to be more comfortable with their data being collected, then they should show them the kinds of useful insights that users can glean from their own data. All right. That's our personal tech columnist, Nicole Nguyen. Nicole, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And that's it for today's tech news briefing. If you want more tech stories, check out our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.